All right, so welcome to Project's uh, webinar. And today is uh, 2020 February 4th, right? So we know that there's a terrible disease in China right now, so I cannot go anywhere. And uh, so, yeah, just uh, stick with trading and provide some trading ideas with you guys. Okay, so let's start. So in the last week, the FOMC uh, didn't uh, do anything about the interest rate. And uh, we can see that the dollar index have a sharp fall after the FOMC meeting and then come back to the same place, All right? So basically this chart tells me uh, the dollar index have a very strong resistance at the 98.16 to 98.56, okay? So pay attention to this uh, zone for the resistance that given to the DXY, so which we actually uh, forecast that the dollar index may go down, all right? It already goes down, it already went down here because we can see here, uh, it breaks this channel. Can you see this? So channel was broken, now it's retested. And so we can start to show the dollar index, see whether it can go to 96.50, all right? Okay, so this is a dollar index. It is have a strong resistance from 98.18. Okay, so with this background information we uh, we get, uh, let's move move to euro dollar first. Okay, so the euro, uh, if we pull our Fibonacci retracement from here, okay, we can see that it actually have a very nice. Uh, support from this uh, 618 level, okay? And we do see two pin bars here, right? First pin bar, second pin bar, and a retest, okay? So a very strong engulfing candle comes, shows, okay, now it's retesting. So we can go to the one hour chart and let's find out uh, what do we have, okay? Basically we have this uh, bearish channel was broken. Can you see that? Okay, and a nice instrument. So we can use our structure analysis for the euro. It actually uh, is now sitting above this uh, structure, which is previous neckline here, because it has retested for uh, shows reactions from here and from here. Okay, now the euro is still above this 1.1039. Okay, so what I'm thinking is so we can try to buy the euro. Okay, we can start to buy the euro. The best place will still be the 618, 1.1031. Okay, you can use this structure here. Okay, of course, if you are, are hesitate to take the trade, okay, you can wait for the 618. If you are, uh, you, you, you don't want to miss the trade, okay, so you can, uh, you can separate your trade, you can enter half or enter one third okay then here you can enter another half okay so uh the euro i'm bullish okay i'm thinking the euro will perform in this way okay because this is a really strong breakout okay breakout here so breakout pullback 618 let's go buy here okay understand for the euro right because in the last webinar i told you guys do not buy the euro because it has these uh continuous going down, right? It's bearish. So now the bearish channel was changing, changing, okay? The bearish channel was gone. The channel was broken. So now we can start to buy, look into the buying uh, long patterns. Okay, you can use the structure, you can use the Fibonacci, you can use anything that you have, okay, to buy the euro. If you understand what I'm talking, okay? So you can reply me by five, so that I know that you are Follow me. Okay, thank you, Anzi. Thank you, Raymond. Thank you, David. Thank you, Nicholas. All right, good. All right. Okay, another pair I'm uh, uh, be very, very interested to involve, and I'm quite confident about this trade will be the Aussie dollar. The Aussie has uh, tested this uh, the base here, okay, and I make a reversal sign here. This is a daily, daily, daily candles. And it makes a drop base rally, which is actually our formed our, our, our demand zone. So in the four hour chart, you can see a lot, a lot of sideways 
patterns here and just break out in today, okay? Today. So uh, I have uh, uh, already shared this trade to my students group and I'm asking you guys to buy the Aussie. The, the patterns look the same to the Euro, okay? So what we have is uh, the bearish channel was broken, okay? So retest, you should go buy, all right? So Aussie, we can definitely can enter a buy. Your stop loss will be very, very uh, easy to set because the stop loss will be just below this uh, pin bar here, this pin bar here. We don't want to see the uh, Aussie to break new low, okay? So as long as it didn't, didn't break new low, we can still hold the trade. And I think the Aussie will just uh, perform, so, you know, going to the north, right? So this could be a very good trade because now it's 0.67, it's really cheap. Uh, to the north, we have uh, about 300 pips to catch, okay, or more than 300 pips to catch. So you can hold a, long, a very, very long-term trade for the Aussie dollar. All right. Yeah, it's also inside about breaks up. Uh, Four-hour chart also shows, uh, you know, this uh, very strong engulfing candle here. So this is uh, the confidence from the bulls, all right? So Aussie, we are bullish, right? Buy Aussie. Let's go to the sterling. Okay, sterling. Um, also tested this structure here. Okay, we have a very nice trading last week, and I said we can buy from here, right? Remember? Okay, and I think my students group have captured this trade uh, for this uh, 200 pips gain, right? So with this uh, uh, some taking profit positive positions, and we uh, want to buy the another time. And today we have a very nice V shape here. Okay, this is a V shape. Okay, a V shape. A V shape actually represents a sharp force to retest the structure and then quickly bounce up and shows that the, all the seller force is uh, dismissing. Okay, so now the uh, in the one hour chart we can find that this is a very very nice inside bar trade. Okay, so we have a strong candle here, mother bar. Second. This is inside bar number one, inside bar number two. So in the third candle here, this candle breaks up, right? So by the definition of inside bar, you should enter this trade, okay? So the moment it breaks uh, 1.3015, you go in, you kick in, all right? Stop loss below this uh, uh, inside bar is low, okay? So I already have one to one, and I'm thinking the sterling will recover to 1.32 very soon because there's a gap here, and most likely this gap will be filled. Okay, so buy sterling as well, right? And in far chart, we have a very nice ping bar. So with the ping bar's definition, we can also buy the trade. Okay, so sterling, let's focus on buy. Focus on buy. It will actually perform quite good, I think, because uh, generally speaking, it's still uh, sitting at the structure here, okay? Uh, the bulls is very, very uh, active, okay, about, uh, this is 1.3, 1.30, okay? So as long as starting is above 1.30, we can uh, keep buying here, okay? Keep buying, keep buying, okay, to see whether it can break new high. And uh, I think uh, about 400 pips or even my target would be 1.40. Right, 1.40. Because, you know, now the pre X news has already uh, sold, right? The, uh, the the government of England has already, uh, you know, the parliament has already agreed to uh, publish this law to to take the action of the to pre-exit. Okay, so uh, we can see that the, the the UK will be definitely out of euro for sure. All right, and let's go to the weekly chart. What we can find is, I want you guys to focus on this place. Okay, this place. This place is our previous support before the brew action news, right? Okay, and it, it becomes a neckline after this strong retracement. Okay, and right now, this will be my target, the final, uh, first target of the sterling buy, 1.3830, okay, it may go to 1.40, all right? So, uh, right now, the bullish, bullish trend starts, okay? So, it will, may come here, like this, right? Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. So sterling, we can use make use of this structure. As long as the structure was uh, uh, supported, okay, just go by the sterling, aim 1.38, okay, for the long term, um, so that you can get a big profit. Okay, let's move on to dollar yen. Okay, dollar yen, uh, due to the, the disease, okay, dollar yen have a gap down yesterday, and today they really come back to the, you know, same place. So this tells us uh, 
the dollar yen still have support from the previous neckline that was formed here. This is the big V shape, okay? A big V shape bottom patterns, okay? So the V shapes neckline is here, okay? Can you see that? Okay, because we can see the clear the path of the the dollar yen is like this. Okay, this is a path of dollar yen. Okay, you can also consider this as a, a head and shoulder if you want. Okay, so normally head and shoulder will typically will have a very nice uh, V shape in the head. Okay, so uh, dollar yen one zero eight is supported, and now the price is going up. So let's uh, go buy dollar yen as well because it didn't really uh, break new low and uh, the retracement from here is yeah still above 618 percent so i think the retracement is still healthy for the bulls okay all right for the bulls dollar yen uh, i'm bullish as well so let, let me ask you a question okay question q gbp dollar starting dollar okay we say goes up and dollar yen goes up. So which pair will move faster, will move uh, higher? Anyone can answer me this question because this is a Forex pairs. So because I, I have already said the starting, we are bullish, right? Dollar yen looks is bullish as well. Okay, so which pair? Yes, sterling yen. Okay, let's go back to sterling yen, right? Maybe they will give this trade will give us a lot of a lot of money. Okay, yeah, sterling yen, yeah. It looks very similar to the sterling dollar, all right, because dollar yen didn't really move a lot. Okay. However, if you find the chart, it's actually uh, more uh, is more stable than sterling dollar because you can see the uh, support is definitely from one one four one level. Okay, one four one. So I'm bullish of dollar uh, of sterling yen. Okay, it may go up to one four eight. Okay, so let's measure the movement from one four two to one four eight. It will be six hundred pips. Okay, so I want you guys to focus on buying the, uh, buying sterling yen so that you can enjoy both the uh, increment of the sterling dollar and the dollar yen. All right. So this is a uh, I think uh, I can't remember uh, the fourth trade I given, right? We have uh, we want to, we want to buy the euro, buy the sterling, we want to uh, buy the Aussie, buy the uh, sterling yen, right? The fourth trade here. Okay, so every time in my webinar, you actually have a very nice uh, a lot of uh, trading ideas. Okay, so just pick one of them or two of them or anyone. Okay, for uh, if you if you think that it's a uh, it's logical and it's tradable, it's doable, it's practicing your trading method, trading patterns. Okay and enter with a 2% risk, right? So let me just do a questionnaire. How many of you guys want to take the sterling yen trade? Raise your hand. Raise your hand, sterling yen trade. You give us a very good, good play, okay? Yeah, the sterling yen looks good. Well, can we stop, stop loss? Well, that's very easy. You go to four hour chart, you just check where is the recent, Bottom right here, 141. Okay, it's 141. Okay, so your stop loss should be below this line, right? Because the sellers already test two, one, two, three, four, five, five times. Okay, that's the uh, that's the best the seller can go. Okay, the bear the bear can go. So the bear failed here. That's why we want to put the stop loss here. Okay, of course you want if you want to uh, finish your trade. In a more decent price, right? You can use you can use this inside of our trade as well. You can you can you can uh, then go to one hour chart. The stop loss can be put below here. That will actually um, enhance your reward and risk ratio. Okay, but if you put it here, that will be a daily trade. Okay, so it's either it's your decision that you want to minimize your risk or you want to you know to let your tolerance zone become wider so that you you are not e going to be easily to be you know shaken out of the trade okay so selling yen yeah bullish yeah it rally fast you see the sterling dollar just rally about 60 pips but the sterling yen already rallied 100 pips right 120 pips okay good let's move on to dollar canadian Okay, the dollar can they have a new breakup, all right? So our trade from uh, here that we discussed in the uh, end of 2019, all right? 
is quite successful from 1.30. Okay, now it's 1.32. Okay, so the dollar Canadian, I think we can took some profit of the loan. Okay, because it has already touched the uh, important structure here. But it looks like this uh, bullish force is quite strong. It's still strong. It may break new high. Okay, because this top isn't a uh, very in a high location. The high location is here. Okay, that is a high location, 1.35. That is a high location of the dollar Canadian. Okay, so I'm thinking that it may have a, a small retracement to here, 1.32. Okay, and then it may go up again. Okay, maybe it will form a, a this kind of a consolidation. Okay, a wedge or a triangle, and then it will goes up. Okay, so dollar Canadian, uh, right now, I don't recommend to short, I but I will ask you to uh, take some profit of your loan from here and ready to get back, to go back to the trade from 1.2, okay? So the trading from dollar Canadian is to wait for the pullback, okay? To buy from 1.32, stop loss at 1.3146, okay? Use this as your stop, okay, to go for the loss. Can we cover Canadian yen? Uh, yeah, sure. Canadian yen is also one of my uh, uh, favorite pair because we made a lot of money in the last year that uh, I asked you guys to buy here, right? The, this channel break out and, and we actually earned about 250 pips. Now it comes back to almost the origin of the uh, bullish starting point is here, okay? So let's buy Canadian yen, okay? Canadian yen is okay to buy stop loss below 81.17, right? And uh, aim for a uh, very strong rally, okay? Because as we know that dollar Canadian may fall, right? As uh, I said, dollar Canadian may fall to 1.32, okay? So Canada, Canadian dollar will uh, <coughs> rally and the dollar yen go up. So Canadian, Go up. Okay, so this is the logic between this trade, right? And see that the dollar cat going down to 1.32, we have about 100 pips to move, and the dollar yen we have another uh, maybe 200 pips to move. So it actually multiplies. Yeah, would be, you know, uh, moves faster than dollar Canadian and dollar yen. Uh, buy from 80.80. 80, 80. Um, I will suggest you see the daily chart, Nicholas. Whenever you see this uh, daily candle looks like this, right? It actually already tells you that it, it actually reversed. So you, ha you have to go back to one hour chart, go to the, the smaller time frame to look, look for more clues. Wow, what do we have? We have a kind of a V shape, right? Okay, and then you can go back to the structure here okay so this is a recent structure that was broken that it previously acting as resistance get it nicholas so if i were you i will definitely are uh, i don't want to buy from here that's too high i want to wait for the price to come back to 81.84 and i want to go in kicking the trade and i will use a fibonacci retracement to measure you see that coincide each other right 81.83 right so that will give me this best entry point if it gives okay and we have another plan is if the canadian yen breaks new high wow if it breaks new height in the trend analysis it actually continue to move up right so we can use the structure breakout and pull back to buy from here and go for the long Okay, so you have two entry point. One is wait for the price to come back to 61.8%. Another is with for the, waiting for the uh, structural breakout and pullback. Okay, and then your stop loss should be here. So this is two entry point for the Canadian yen. You understand, Nicholas? Yeah, because uh, I think your, your patterns are, are identification uh enhanced a lot right so now you have to put some of these elements of a multi uh, multiple time frame all right yeah do not always use one single time frame because that will actually uh you actually miss a lot of trade or you have a very very um 
inaccurate entries. Okay. Yeah, if you want to buy from 80.80, .80, right, well, then you 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 have, uh, you have to ask yourself, right? So if the price can go to 80.80, .80, then it will actually break new low, correct? But do you want to really to buy when the bearish trend starts to break new low? If the trend like this, you actually doubt wow this is still bearish right whether uh, of course yeah this is a 61 percent here this one also structure but what um the bearish is if the bearish trend is so strong it breaks a new low what what if the price bounces back to the structure and then goes down again right so you then you have to look for more clues right so uh well in the forward chart i think we can make use of this uh uh, this this uh, reversal patterns to buy from here stop was just given to the 81.50 we are not risking a lot of money right we just uh, you know about only 30 pips right so 30 pips gain uh loss 30 pips risk and my target will be about the previous structure here okay you can uh so in my students okay uh attention all my students please use structure analysis to make your entry and also setting your target give me six if you understand so why can i put my target to here because you can see here this is a very strong neckline okay so if i want to buy of course i want to take my profit before the price hitting to the resistance come down right anything could happen correct so i want to lock my profit here so that's my target setting strategy okay using by using the opposite structure good very good okay so let's move on right uh go to oil okay the oil have a little bounce from uh, 52 and uh, in my last webinar i said we could sell the pullback from here I remember remember i said this gap right this gap and we want to sell the pullback if you do uh did the trade you actually took a very nice profit and right now in the daily chart uh well unfortunately my my forecast has you know uh become true because i said uh it may break this structure right i said it may break the structure and i think the oil will move down continue move down and it forms this uh you know very very big guardy patterns okay all right so now uh since uh, the structure was broken okay we don't want to buy the oil right now we want to see what will going on okay it may pull back and going goes down again and i think the oil may test 47 okay 47 is here the previous structure here okay so well i think uh trying to find some setting setting uh, uh patterns here okay because it actually breaks the daily structure breaks here it is a very strong breakout yesterday okay breaks out and today's pullback so you can start to sell stop loss above the new high above the breaking out the candle okay maybe 52.39 and uh, see whether the oil can go to 46 or 47. Yeah, this is my view of oil. This is not a bullish sign, okay? Because if bullish, it shouldn't break this uh, this structure. And, and this structure is so strong, and we can imagine that after this breakout happens, okay, all the, all the people that buy from this place are trapped, and people getting nervous, you know, all the buyers getting nervous, they may going to cut of their positions and we will start another round of falling okay yeah the fundamental of oil is getting weak yes you're right because uh because this uh this this rally has is ended has ended okay and i said the here this is very strong resistance from 65 uh, 66 here and this strong this strong engulfing candle represents the, the institution no players are selling and keep selling right and it even sell to sell to break the structure the bearish 
of the Oreo trend still remains, it breaks into a new low. So let's find pullback to sell, okay, in to get the participate to the downside, right? Okay, let's go to SM SMP. Okay. The SMP, we capture very nice entry of sell, remember? Okay. Uh, trust me, if the in a bearish trend, you will always find this uh, the oversold is uh, appearing. Okay, because oversold and overbuy, overbought, it actually um, oversold and overbought is actually a, a oscillator. Okay, oscillator. You know, you know what is oscillator. yeah okay let me just uh, give you an example all right so if i go to the add to the like the, you know the rsi okay the r uh, this is rsi right okay let me just uh, uh edit is uh okay. so i'm using 80 and 20 and lens is seven Okay. All right. You can see here when trending is very strong, the oscillators will have a lot of oversold and overbought. Okay. For example, in here, you can see the prices keep going up, right? Keeps going up. Okay. And you can check how many times it actually goes to the oversold, overbought position place. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And imagine if you sell due to the overbought, you sell here, you sell here, okay? You sell here, okay? Here you sell, you sell, you sell, and you sell. What will happen? And what exactly are you doing? Uh, Jacob Michelli? you are actually you know you are trying to sell it due to this uh, overboard however the trend is so strong you can only make a very very minimum profit okay profit however a lot of times you are actually being stopped out okay and look here look here this is a very strong bearish trend okay and you can check in a very very long time uh long time horizon here uh let me just put it here okay if you you can see here from the day it uh, of 2018 october 31st okay the oil goes into the oversold zone here right it goes into the below 20 right it's oversold and then almost two months sorry three months Okay, from August, uh, from December 31st to, to November and to December, December 31st, okay, two months, the whole two months, the RSI, you see the RSI looks still very bearish, oversold, 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 okay, here not oversold, then oversold again, and the price just keep going, out, going down, okay, so do not use oscillator when the trend is very, very strong, that's my advice. Okay, so let's check here. Um, is is uh, also in a oversold zone. Okay, but if you are uh, if you check the location, do you really think that the oil here, compared to here, does the oil still have some, you know, zone some space to going down? Yeah. So the RSI, although it is in the oversold zone we don't want to buy because the, the trend is still is still bearish okay the trend is still bearish you get it okay yeah so just it just told you uh tells you that do not try to do not uh do not chase the price to sell anymore to sell in the low location okay but you can sell the pullback yes you can sell the pullback because you go to one hour chart you can see here we can uh, we can check because our last time of the the setting setting place is here right is this gap 
all right cap fail cap field going down going down again and going down all right so now what we can do is we can use this place we can use this wave okay and we pull our fibonacci and we focus on 52.55 the price can go up to here and we check the check the uh, price action and see whether we can get a short from here okay all right because daily chart is still bearish uh, it looks uh, i mean to me i think it is a breakout and pullback it didn't change any trend of the day day trend day trend is you know break new low and pull back right so all your all right focus on sell okay that's SMP. We have a very nice short in the last webinar. Okay. Uh, we also have a very nice buy. Okay. And I told you guys that our 3,300 is my level to take my long positions and to sell again. And I think if you do listen to my advice, you actually get this profit, right? Okay. And now it comes back again. So this tells you that the SMP going back to a range. It's a range zone, okay, from 3,200 to 3,300. So, since it is in a range zone, we can make a two side trade, okay. The first side is uh, the sellers, we can focus to sell from 3,300 level, and it's another that you can go in, you can choose to buy from here, okay. And then you can, you can trade it, uh, I think, maximum in a two trades, okay. Uh, one sell and one buy and then you just wait for the wait for it or either break new high to uh going up okay either break new high or break new low right so this is my view of s p it becomes in a, a a wide range trading zone so focus on to trade in the in the uh, heaven and earth okay <laughs> so i call this a heaven and earth structure resist structure and support structure uh is the same for german 30 okay let's just check the chart okay all right german 30 I, I if i if i didn't remember wrong i think i mentioned that i want to sell from here because in four hour chart i said uh or in daily chart i said uh it didn't really break one one thirty thirteen five hundred right and i said we can we can sell from here so uh the sale should close position at one two ninety one this is structure so yeah it's still the same range sessions okay so um forward chart uh looks like uh, the the german 30 still have some place to going up but it will the 13400 13400 will be a very very important place okay 13400 um well i think i may be the trading view stuck is it yeah hmm. well Either let me try Dex. Hmm. I have a trading view. <laughs> let me go to the yeah. Hmm. German thirty. Oh, okay. I can't. Oops. Sorry, let me just open a, another chart, chart window. <clears throat> oh, 
we still have con connected to the webinar. Is the webinar still uh, going on? Anyone? Okay. All right, and then there's problem of the trading view. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe let me open the VPN, see whether it can work. Let me just go to the English site. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 30. So this uh, friend uh, AB asking is the same for German 30? Well, yeah. Looks quite uh, similar. Okay, looks quite similar in a uh, um, you can use the uh, Fibonacci to tell you, well, it is uh, now it's testing the 618%. So there are a lot of uh, structure here. A lot of the sellers are accumulating here. So I think the price will just uh, work similar to the S&P, okay? Pull back to 618, breaks new low, and then comes up, shoots up again. So you can, you can use the uh, S&P's patterns to trade the German 30, okay? You can start to sell here, okay? From 13, 13338, okay? Sell from here, understand, AB? Okay, a 618%, okay? Sell from here and then take profit here and wait for another comeback, okay? And then sell again in higher place, in higher zone, sell again. Understand, AB? As I'm explaining your questions, if you received, please acknowledge it. All right, let's go to Bitcoin. Okay, Bitcoin have a still nice rally. Okay, and uh, it retest the structure here from 82 and now go, uh, goes up to 96, okay? And now I think we can take some profit of the long and uh, then we want to see this channel, whether this channel can sustain. If this channel can sustain, you can consider to buy from here. Maybe 8,800, okay? 8,800 will be a good place to buy some more, okay? So the price may go come here and then goes up again. This is my view for Bitcoin. Uh, let's check, check the Ethereum. Well, similar similar patterns, okay? So Ethereum actually performs better than Bitcoin um, using this structure to 170, using the 170 to, to buy, okay? XRP, sure. Uh, 750. Wow, 750. That's uh, that's very high. <laughs> it's possible. Well, I will, I will just uh, uh, acknowledge your question. All right, it's possible to go back to you know 618, which is uh, 907. That's a long term view, but uh, it will took a very very long time from the because you can do the time spy here let me just show you okay you can use this uh, uh time zone oh, where is it yeah data range okay data, data range so from here to here to this point is about uh, 532 days Okay, so you can uh, use just the drag here. So we can, if if the Ethereum really have a bullish trend, that maybe in end of this year, end of this year, because in my 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 cursor my curse, uh, 
Costa said it's uh, December 20th, right? <laughs> no, sorry, December 07. So it may have uh, a rally to, you know, like this, All right? This. So you can buy some, buy some, because now it's cheap. Now it's cheap, yeah. I agree with the bad patterns. However, uh, you know, I will use a 618 of the, to uh, the whole trend from here. Because this, uh, normally the wave, okay, the harmonic patterns, the beauty, the beauty of harmonic patterns is the wave actually, you know, took the same time as mine, okay. Uh, he's, uh, I think, Nicholas is, is using this point as, uh, as a bat, which is here. This is the Nicholas bat. I'm oh, sorry, 86, yeah. This is a Nicholas bat, right? Uh-huh. All right, good. <clears throat> okay, so today's Tuesday, so we still have uh, three days in this week to trade. So let's, uh, I think we have covered all the pairs and the indices, the stocks and the Forex, all right? Good. Any questions? I will answer another pair. Oh, gold. Yeah, gold. We forgot gold. Gold. Let's sell. Let's sell. Okay. I told you guys, gold have very, very strong resistance from one five ninety. Okay. And we make sell from here. We make sell from here, and now we can. No. This is a very nice trade. And the gold has broken the trend line. The channel is broken. Okay. So gold, an easy trade. Okay. Pull back to 1572 or 1570. Go sell. Use the structure here to sell the gold. Okay. Very easy. Use the structure to sell. Channel broken down, pull back, sell. Aim one five thirty eight. Okay. In my last webinar, yeah, we sell from here, right? We earned this money, and now we can sell again. XRP, sure. Well, XRP, wait for uh, zero point two four two three to buy. I will use this uh, structure to buy the XRP stop loss below here. The repo. Yeah. Now, very simple trade. Yeah, gold and oil are both in sell side. Is it a coin? Yes, this is a coin. Is it a coin? Because uh, the gold and the oil didn't really move in the same directions and they have not, uh, they, they don't have a very strong correlations. Okay. Uh, good to hold long term. Yeah, you can hold long term. I think the the crypto are good to hold long term. It's just waiting for another rally. Yeah. Because the price already come to the to the to the starting point of the whole bullish trend last time. Okay, zero point two four. Okay, but you don't you don't expect a, a very strong trend coming soon because it now it's really don't have a very much much movement. Okay, but it, sh it shows the bottoms reversals. It shows. Okay, so buy the cheap. Okay, invest in the low location. Okay, and aim to the high location. That's a good idea. Yes, if this one doesn't move, change to Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin is the master of all cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin will move faster because more money are in, in the Bitcoin zone, right? Good. Okay, so I think we are going to end our webinar today. Yeah, I'm going to uh, upload the videos to, uh, to YouTube. So if you, if you want to see the recordings, just go to youtube.com slash project and you will find 
my channels and I will you will see the latest uh, video uh, here. Okay. You can click the videos, you actually uh yeah, see the webinar here. All right. Okay, so for those who want to join my students club, you can go to harmonicasia.com to register my course and uh, to learn my strategies. Okay, you can you can go to the Pro Trader course and to check uh, whether you want to become a professional traders. Okay, because uh, thousands uh, more students have benefited from this trading course. They have been uh, <coughs> enhancing their trading skills tremendously, tremendously. So uh, I'm be very helpful and uh, good mentor to you. And I host webinars every week and we'll show you the how to trade, how to set your trading logic and trading plans. Okay. So it will be the other uh, videos will be included in the course. You can get it. Yeah, just by signing my course. All right. So that's all of today. Thank you. See you next time. See you next week. Natural gas. Oh, okay. Natural gas, sure. Super low, right? <laughs> A super low temperature. Wow, natural gas. I think, um, yeah, good to buy some natural gas. You can start to buy because one point eight is is cheap, and uh, stop loss below one point six. Okay, see this rally. Okay, I think the natural gas may have this rally, but that, that we will not rally too much. We are actually going to test two first, two dollar first, because this two dollar has a very strong resistance here. Okay, it will forms if if uh if you will have a bullish trend, you forms a double bottom. You will see a double bottom here. Okay, and then you can trade the double bottom to goes up. Okay, so you can consider to buy some. Steady chart is now uh ranging. Okay, still ranging. Didn't really have much buyers. Okay, um. Or you also, or, uh, also you can use this uh, channel, okay? Join the channel, wait for the breakout, wait for the breakout, and then you can use a second test to buy. That would be a good good choice, okay? So just uh, remember these patterns, okay? Breakout, pull back, buy, All right? Trade for the next winter, yeah. But do remember the natural gas is a future, it's future product. So we actually change contract every month or every three months. Um, uh, yeah. So you have to set your trading strategies to trading time frame. Whether you want to hold up for long or you want to just to, to uh, quickly take your profit, right? Okay. So yeah, that's all. See you next time. Plan plan your trade and trade your plan. Sure. Stay safe and the mask on. Yeah, let's mask on. <laughs> and I really wish that the, this uh, disease will be ending very soon. Yeah. Best wishes to you guys and happy Chinese New Year. <laughs>